Senator Jomo Thomas is no longer the General Secretary of the People's Movement for Change, the PMC. In an interview with one of this country's journalists, Thomas stated that he did give up the position after he was made a government senator last year. During his stint as the PMC General Secretary, Thomas was often very critical of the Dr. Ralph Gonzalez administration and Arnim Eustace and his opposition New Democratic Party, the NDP, on certain issues such as the proposed new constitution in 2009. The then General Secretary of the PMC said the NDP was holding the new constitution hostage to partisan and political concerns and that Dr. Gonzalez and his Unity Labour Party, the ULP, were guilty of political treason. However, Thomas has always maintained that the ULP has done more for the country, especially in the area of education, more than any other political party to govern St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and reiterated this when he was sworn in as a ULP senator in Parliament last year. Police were this morning summoned to Paul's Avenue, after several shots were fired into the body of Kwesi Ryan, better known as Tutsi. Reports reaching IKTV News state that Ryan, 24, was leaving his home when a masked individual fired several shots, killing him on the spot in his yard in the presence of his mother. Last January, Ryan was reportedly involved in the daylight robbery of a quantity of money and checks that were taken from an employee of the St. Hill Insurance Company and was out on bail. Part of Ryan's bail condition was that he should report to the Central Kingston Police Station on Mondays and Fridays, and he was reportedly on his way to the station when he was shot several times. Ryan's death brings to six the number of persons who were murdered this year in the country. The police are now conducting investigations into Ryan's death. Opposition leader the Honorable Arnim Eustace has been commended for his leadership role in trying to resolve the ongoing political crisis in St. Kitts and Nevis. Speaking on IKTV's Unrendered program last Sunday, St. Kitts and Nevis United Opposition Leader Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris expressed gratitude on behalf of himself and the people of the Twin Island Federation to the Honorable Eustace for his support. It's to extend the deep felt appreciation and gratitude of the citizens and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis for the leadership role that the Honorable Arnim Eustace, leader of the NDP, has been playing in the advocating and agitating with respect to the constitutional and political crises which we face in St. Kitts and Nevis. Dr. Harris, on March 6th, arrived here for a short solidarity visit where he met with opposition leader Honorable Arnim Eustace and members of the New Democratic Party. Dr. Harris's visit came in the aftermath of Eustace's criticism of the leadership of CARICOM in a press statement some weeks ago where the Honorable Eustace chastised CARICOM for failing to address the situation in St. Kitts and Nevis. As it stands, the Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas sits as a minority Prime Minister, commanding just five of the 11 elected seats in the Parliament, while Dr. Timothy Harris and his Team Unity, a coalition of three political parties, hold six elected seats in the Assembly and speak for the majority of the St. Kitts and Nevis Parliament. The Regional News is up next.